all right guys so today's video is about the hw12 smartwatch setup basically this is webfit pro app pairing guide as you can see this smartwatch uses webfit pro and i'll be sharing with you how you can connect it register and log in time settings add whatsapp and all stuff like that so without wasting much of your time subscribe to the channel and let's get down to business all right so let's open up this guy and see what's inside the box all right we are greeted by the manual let's keep that aside and the watch itself okay let's switch that on okay switched on and what else can we find in the box okay we have the charger here so let's just keep all this aside and let's pair this guy up. First thing I will tell you to do is to switch on your data, Bluetooth, and location. Okay, so let's switch on our data. Our data is already switched on, our Bluetooth, and our location or GPS. Okay, once you have done that, then the rest will be easy. Now let's go to our Google Play Store here and download WebFit Pro Hub. WebFit pro app as you can see then you search for it now here is our webfit pro app then you install and if you are using an iphone this is your webfit pro app and you can do that so in this video i'll be showing you just the webfit pro app on your android let your open option here and select open option is going to open up the app now the first thing here is the service agreement and privacy policy so you select agree you have to agree to the policy select agree option then it's going to go to the next page please you make sure you grant all the permissions that is required so that this webfit pro app can function well here this is an advert just tap on this continue to app webfit pro when you select that it's going to bring up a pop-up message that says allow webfit pro app to access your photos and media select allow here you can see statement in order to provide you with more accurate data then you have to select confirm allow webfit pro app to access your device location select why using this app okay once you have done that you are now at the login page first you can use to register as a new user or you come here and use your gmail account and log in in this case i'll be using my gmail account okay so just tap on this just tap on this g icon here and you are going to see that your account will pop up so the account that is right on your smartphone will come up here and you can select the account once you select that, it's going to log you in. As you can see, it has logged in. Here, you have to select either watch equipment or headset device. Here, we have to select watch equipment. Once you select that, it's going to show you tips. It detects that you are using a third-party account to authorize login. Select I know. Then you can go back here. Okay, and when you see this, please just close it. Enable message push permission. Please select turn on option. When you select that, it's going to take you to the notification access of your smartphone. You can see my WebFit Pro app is not allowed. You have to select WebFit Pro app and toggle the option that allows it. Okay, so once you allow it, it's going to help you receive text messages on your WebFit Pro app. So you select allow, then you go back by pressing the back key. As you can see, our WebFit Pro app has been allowed. So you go back once again, then you can close this. Okay. Once you close it, now you are at the WebFit Pro app page. Okay. You have to connect the smartwatch. As you can see, the smartwatch is not connected yet. Swipe down. You can see the icon here. It shows that it is not connected. So there are two ways you can connect your hw12 to your phone you can either use the qr code way which is here this is an advert let's just wait for this to go 
all right so you can use this scan qr code to you know sync it up to your smartwatch or you use the add device okay so let's use add device as you can see it is searching our hw12 has been found so you select hw12 and when you swipe down here you are going to see that it has connect as you can see it has connect to our smartwatch okay you can see the icon here good now the next thing to do here is to continue with it select i know i'm going to show you how you can add whatsapp on your webfit pro hub so let's go to our settings go to your device and you are going to see notification select allow select notification once again and it's going to load up your notification page here you can select notification option here you toggle it on after turning this feature the device still cannot receive notification you select seed solution but here let's just see if it's going to work now you have to toggle on your phone so that you can receive notification when you have phone call on your smartwatch okay you select allow you select allow once again sms you select sms you toggle with the option on select allow select it once again whatsapp you select allow as you can see you have a message that drop in now and it has just shown on our hw12 okay because we have toggle on the sms you can see it drop on our smart watch okay so now let's switch on the instagram let's switch on the twitter switch on tiktok and facebook so all these notifications once they come into your phone is going to drop on your hw12 smart watch as you have just seen one now that is how to add whatsapp in webfit pro now i'll be showing you how you can change your wallpaper so let's go back so if you want to change your watch face you come to this option here that shows watch faces and you select the more option and select the more option is going to show you a lot of watch faces here some are with prices as you can see some as two dollars two dollars some have installation anyone that has installation on it you can install them for free so let's install one of these guys here let's install this holster once you have picked the one that you want then you can come here and select download when you select download you can see it says downloading now installing once it is complete with the installation you are going to see it on your watch face install as you can see it's as easy as that now if you want to change your watch face to your own photo or your own picture on hw 2 smartwatch all you have to do is to go down here just scroll all the way down you are going to see custom screen saver okay you select that when you select that it's going to take you to the custom screen saver page where you can add your photos or your picture there all right as you can see this is 1045 okay and change the style maybe you want it to be green you want it to be red in color okay or orange you can change it to whatever one you want and position of where the time should be either up or middle or down okay so i'm going to select this plus sign here so it's going to go to your gallery and you can pick any of your picture so let's pick this all right so and select this up here so once you select that you select apply and you can crop it in if you like to any way you want and you select crop as you can see it is here now if i want to install it i have to select installation down here select installation and you can see it is uploading it to my smartwatch face now you can see our watch face has changed to the picture that i picked so this is how to change your wallpaper on hw12 now i'm going to show you how you can make webfit pro time settings all you have to do is to come down here okay you go to your other time please let me change this to always on so that it won't be disturbing me all right now 
to this other settings select it and you are going to see some settings here you can see hourly automatic measurement raise your wrist and you can see 12 hours clock now you turn on this feature and the watch will be enabled to 12 hours clock so let's select that okay as you can see our watch on the time on our smartwatch has just changed to 127. so that is how to make your webfit pro time setting all right so if you have any other question on anything you want me to say about or i didn't cover please let me know down there in the comment section and here is the find device to find your watch as you can see it is vibrating i know you can't hear that but it's vibrating right now and if you want to upgrade your webfit pro app you can upgrade it here if you want to restore factory setting of both the app and the watch you can select this option and if you want to unpair this watch and pair another webfit pro app watch you have to disconnect it here first and you can now start all over so that is how to do hw12 smartwatch setup and i will see you on the next one please stay safe bye for now peace